on the Bay in HD starts right now. We're celebrating flavors from around the world found right here in the Bay Area. Peruvian food is pretty amazing in the sense that it's probably the most diverse of all uh, cuisines in South America. We visited San Francisco restaurant to sample Peruvian cuisine. Then it's off to San Mateo. Learn how to make a Filipino specialty. What's Filipino food? It's chicken adobo. Hello and welcome to Eye on the Bay. I'm Liam Maitland. It's a flavors edition of the show where we take you all over the globe for a little taste of cuisine, a little taste of the culture. Off to the Philippines in just a bit, but first to Peru, right here at Destino on Market Street in San Francisco. This flavorful journey takes us to the Philippines. We're on Third Avenue in San Mateo. Let's go inside and experience the taste of Bistro Luneta. All right, let's meet the chef, Chef Emmanuel Santos. Hi, how are you? I'm great, sir. Good to see you. For starters, new Filipino cuisine. Yes. What's it all about? New Filipino cuisine is basically healthier than the traditional Filipino cuisine. Manila is uh, in the center of the Philippines. Yeah. It's like San Francisco. But uh, flavors from Manila is very different from other um, regions of the Philippines. There actually is a heavy influence of um, Spanish dishes in yeah. the Philippines because we were colonized by the Spaniards. Even our names, in family names, are but some your last Spanish. Name Santos, yeah. so that would, yes. that would make a lot of sense. When anyone says, what's Filipino food? It's chicken adobo. Chef Santos shared the recipe for the quintessential dish which the restaurant serves with a modern twist. The ingredients are vinegar, yep. soy, and oyster sauce. All together? Yes, onions, bay leaf, and uh, peppercorns. Ooh. And then we, have, uh, we use uh, Busan chicken here. Saute onions, bay leaf, peppercorns, and vinegar mixture to create the marinade and sauce. This recipe is close to your heart. One yes. of your grandmother's recipes. Uh, would she cook this for you as a kid? Yeah, yeah she always used to uh, cook this uh, for us, for the family. Yeah. All right, uh, so chef, we marinated our chicken, and you can do this overnight, or you can leave it in the daytime, yeah? Yes. All right, well, now what? So now uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm skewering the chicken, because we're going to be grilling it. Yeah. We're going to turn it uh, 45 degrees. Now something smelling really, really wonderful. There it is. Chicken's done. There we are, to the table. Chef Santos highlighted dishes that are featured on the menu at Bistro Luneta. Lunch would be um, the arroz right here. Yeah. Or the chicken adobo that we have here. Right here. Mm -hmm. And then dinner? Dinner would be the pork trotters. Yeah. <laughs> Save the best for last. Of eh? course. <laughs> And your eyes light up when you talk about that dish. Is that one of your favorites? Yes, this is uh, actually, I can eat this all day. Let's talk about your sweet ending there. Okay, this is uh, one of our new uh, desserts. It's uh, pandan panna cotta. Pandan panna cotta, all right. Yes, it's uh, Italian uh, custard, mm -hmm. but uh, the twist there is the pandan flavor. Ooh. Pandan grows wild yeah. anywhere in Southeast Asia. Yeah, all right. I can't leave without tasting the food. <laughs> the name of this dish one more time? Arroz a la luneta. You took the words out of my mouth. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up next, we take you to a South San Francisco hotspot for traditional Filipino food when Eye on the Bay returns.